So I think it's safe to say that the NVIDIA leak is the biggest leak in video game history because good god it has not missed even once. Overnight, Kingdom Hearts 4, just as predicted by the NVIDIA leak, has been announced and we're about to react to the trailer. I'm super excited to take a look at what's in here. I'm hoping that they've improved from everything that they've heard from Kingdom Hearts 3 and all the feedback that they've gotten, and hopefully they'll be able to take that and make a better game with Kingdom Hearts 4. God, I just can't believe that Kingdom Hearts 4, dude, if you recall, Kingdom Hearts 3 almost seemed like a fever dream in itself. But the fact that we're actually getting the fourth Kingdom Hearts game this soon after Kingdom Hearts 3 is incredible. But without any further delay, let's go ahead and watch Kingdom Hearts 4. Of course. Quadratum. Versus 13. Looks like we're in insomnia. The heart resides within the soul, which in turn is guided by its fate to its rightful place. Oh. This is very realistic looking. Um, choice is yours once more. Oh, this is... Oh, he's very Noctis looking. Sora is very mobile game girl. Yeah, he looks so like Noctis basically. This is beautiful. Mm. An afterworld, like an afterlife? <laughs> wow. This looks like versus thirteen. <laughs> like versus thirteen. <laughs> Wow, and a new logo, too. Look at that four. Roman numeral. <gasps> Donald and Goofy. Don't know, but it's... Huh. Hey! Hades? Ah, it's Hades. <laughs> of course, there has to be Olympus Coliseum. The best part, though, the funniest part of all this, though, is that instead of now in development, we got this. Magic in the making. I guess too many people roasted them for the now in development stuff and they, they changed it to <laughs> magic in the making, which is kind of funny. Um, the internet successfully bullied uh, a company once again. <laughs> magic in the making does sound a lot better though, to be fair. So, God, uh, there's a lot of things racing through my head. First of all, the incredible similarities to Final Fantasy Versus 13. 
we'll be discussing that in videos next week for sure. Uh, there's a whole lot of stuff that I saw there that I'm able to analyze. I could probably make probably two or three videos worth of stuff from just this trailer alone. Uh, that I saw here from Connections to Versus 13. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that. You guys seem to really love uh, any of the previous uh, Versus 13 videos that I've made and how that's connected to this new, uh, I think they called it uh, somewhere back here, the Lost Master arc, which is interesting. As you know, we just finished the Dark Seeker saga. So this is the brand new arc. Uh, these are some incredibly realistic graphics. You know, Kingdom Hearts has never had like realistic looking graphics. Uh, but this looks more like a Final Fantasy game than it looks like a Kingdom Hearts game, by the way. Nice toes, my brother. Um, <laughs> this is the first time I think we've actually seen uh, Sora's feet outside of his shoe that I know of. Uh, he looks very Noctis. I just don't know what else to say. Like even from, especially from this angle, uh, like the way his hair in the back here is sort of spiked. Like, look at this, this is very Noctis. And then this is weird now, because basically you have three Noctises. You have uh, Sora who looks like Noctis, you have Riku who looks like Noctis, and you have Yazora who's, who's also definitely Noctis. So you have a whole bunch of Noctises here. Um, you have, I believe her name is Starlitzia. Um, <laughs> I mean, obviously dressed in all white, uh, lighter hair color. You could probably make parallels to Stella here. Uh, the fact that, I mean, obviously this looks like insomnia. This is so weird because it's like, Sora is basically an anime character who got isekai to the real world. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be Isa guy through the real world. Dude, this kind of sucks. Uh, but the Versus 13 inspiration here is just completely undeniable. And uh, it, it's very late thickly on. And I think that Nomada is definitely trying to uh, maybe not recreate Versus 13. Maybe not try to like sneak it into Kingdom Hearts, so to speak. Uh, but more like he is trying to use it as a source of inspiration. And the theory that immediately jumps to my mind for why he's doing this is because more than likely what I think is going on here is that we're probably going to see Kingdom Hearts 4 using realistic Disney worlds like the Avengers or Star Wars. Now that may sound crazy, may sound unhinged at first, but I think that there is a logic to it, right? So basically my theory more or less, I want to go ahead and put it out there, is that because Versus 13 was a fantasy based on reality, that this new arc for Kingdom Hearts is trying to take and repurpose that concept of a fantasy based on reality and make Kingdom Hearts based on reality so that these real Disney worlds will mesh with it, right? So it's kind of meant to play on Versus, right? Like play on the idea of what Versus 13 was and use that idea in order to make these realistic properties mesh with Kingdom Hearts and also um, be appropriate for Kingdom Hearts' story. Okay, now Sora is realistic looking and he's in like a realistic world. And obviously we've seen um, some realistic movies live action movies be used before namely the pirates world but um i think they're gonna go all in with it this time in this frame too it's really interesting you have d eater and d dream which refers to like dream eater and i don't know drop dream whatever <laughs> i'm sure that all these signs and stuff is it's probably like loaded with references that you can dig up and notice that instead of warp striking, you're able to do like these little keyblade hooks, like your keyblade turns into like a hook and you're able to sort of like warp strike that way instead of like actual warp striping. But like mechanically, it's pretty similar to me to being able to warp strike. So it's just a lot of overlap and ideas, but I actually think that it's more than just being like, oh, hey, like, you know, an overlap in ideas. I think that it's more that we're taking the concept of Versus 13 and we're reappropriating elements of that into Kingdom Hearts. And it looks cool. It looks dope. 
uh, I gotta admit, just looking at this, this is probably uh, the most excited I have been for a Kingdom Hearts title in a long time. Uh, <laughs> like, it's the most interested uh, I've been when looking at brand new Kingdom Hearts stuff in a while. Oh, I, mean, I mean a while. So that that's already, to me, a huge dub. I know if I'm feeling that way, if I'm feeling like, oh, this is really cool, and uh, it's got me feeling, you know, cool, like interested in Kingdom Hearts again, then it probably has a lot of people who've been on the fence about Kingdom Hearts for a while uh, to get back into the series, because after Kingdom Hearts 3, I know there's a lot of you who love Kingdom Hearts 3, I'm not trying to invalidate you, but it's just the truth. There's a lot of people who were not too satisfied with the way Kingdom Hearts 3 had turned out or with that game. It is just the facts by the numbers that there's a lot of people who uh, may not have enjoyed the game as some of the rest of you. And uh, this looks like it is just so interesting and just so cool. Uh, and has so much stuff that it has me excited. So this is dope, man. For me, this gets me excited about Kingdom Hearts again. And that alone is a massive dub because I was just so out of it with Kingdom Hearts. So to make me excited for something Kingdom Hearts again is just a huge win to me for Kingdom Hearts. There's also a, a new mobile game. I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you guys though when it comes to the new mobile game. I think it's cool I think they had to make a new mobile game uh, It looks pretty dope. I Just don't care because it's a mobile game. <laughs> I just don't care. Uh, I know it's gonna be important Everything is important uh, when it comes to the story. It does look cool for anyone who's into like gotchas and stuff It looks like it's reusing a ton of Kingdom Hearts 3 assets uh It'll probably be a lot better received than Union Cross just because of, I mean, look at the battle system, right? The battle system alone uh, looks way cooler than anything you were doing in Union Cross. So uh, this is going to be pretty cool. Uh, I think it'll probably be successful. But uh, for me personally, yeah, I probably won't be playing that one. Uh, I'll probably be reading a summary or watching a summary video on what's going on in it. But uh, yeah, just as I predicted that they're doing something to replace Union Cross, and that's cool. I am fine with that. And we're going to be back soon because I got a whole bunch of Versus 13-esque stuff to analyze about from this trailer. Uh, so look forward to that video in the coming days. I'm super excited to pick that apart and to uh, show all you guys all the, the neat references and stuff that they're doing with this and share some of my theories. And I think that it is going to be way cool if you guys like the previous Versus 13 Kingdom Hearts 3 Verum Rex videos that I made. Gonna be making more of those. So please look forward to it. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys all next time.